here we are in this creepy ass stairwell. I can't see shit. See, something triggered around here, and I I don't think any floaters on here. types I use, and how much of it I use. Because I really want to make sure I have sniper ammo for this. Or the M16 ammo. One of the two, really. Okay, I see one of those things. I see a floater. But I also see this asshole. Let's see if I can't pop him in the head. Oh, I missed that one, but... I want to get that guy before I have to, like, run into something, because I'm betting you I'm going to work around this corner. I don't know what it was going to be! Why is that to you? I really thought that was the bed. No, that's the bed. The floater. I've just called the beds for so long in my own head that I'm pretty sure they never did that in the mod, by the way. They, like, aggressively fly towards you. They almost always use to try and keep their distance, probably because they suck at melee. Oh, those shells. I wish I had gotten the shotgun. I actually could come back for it, too, but it's probably not the wisest idea. Unless it were to drop the clock, and I really don't want to. Especially because there's some clock ammo right here. Nine shells. Eh, yeah, that's not worth it. Like, five bullets kill most enemies. Those five shells. Okay, so we're gonna come up on a. Uh... The boss up this ladder. And, of course, also a cutscene. What the hell are you doing here? Well, hi, Simon. What? I don't... I don't understand anything now. Oh, hi, Simon. What is it that you don't understand? What do you think? The whole fucking city is crawling with... monsters and... I just... I mean, suddenly you just turn up on these rooftops? What are you doing here? Are you hurt? Monsters? Simon, you're scaring me. Scaring? What the fuck? This is just sick. <laughs> well, I... maybe it's just. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, totally How change the subject. Uh, I I don't know. That's I'm my favorite answer. I'm confused. To bed, thank you. Better now that you're here. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad you're here too, Sophie. Aww. I've been alone all this time. I see. Sounds tough. So tough. But what about yourself? Why are you here? Are you hiding up here from those things? No. I really don't understand what you're talking about. 
I'm just thinking. Thinking? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that too. Do you remember how you got here? I don't know. I was just wandering and I woke up I woke here. up myself, but it wasn't an alley and... Wait, I can probably show you! No, hush Simon. Can't we just sit here for a while? Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Perpetual state of confusion. It's a requirement for all horror protagonists. Do you want to know something? No. Yes. Yes, I do! I want to know just what in the fuck is going on here! Is it about that doctor guy? Uh, in the gas mask? Doctor? Simon, please. No, I mean about school. Ooh. Yeah? What? Well, Melodramatic I don't too. know if you knew, but I always had a hard time at school. You were, well, you were pretty much the only guy who was kind to me. I never said it, but I really want to thank you for making my life a little bit more bearable. You're a cute guy, Simon. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, you did have it pretty rough. Thank you. Yeah. I love this song. I guess I helped you because I liked you. But you were one of the prettiest girls at school and... I don't know, I just... I guess I wanted to protect you. I don't love you, but I think I could if we got to know each other better. You're so beautiful, Sophie. Why haven't you said anything? I never had the courage. I, I mean... I wasn't exactly the toughest kid in school, was I? I don't know. But now we're You've been here shooting alone. a lot of people. I feel stronger. I've always liked you, Sophie. Oh, Simon, I don't know what to say. I always liked you too, but not in that way. Rejected. I always thought that you were just a friend, nothing more. I'm sorry. But... Oh shit. Damn, so much stuff has happened lately. All this craziness. The darkness and, and the monsters. I think I'm going crazy. I'm so glad I found you. I know. A lot of things have been going on lately. Yeah, really. Was it you who tried to phone me, by the way? Yeah. I wanted to talk to you, to get away from it all. Oh, but, but what? Out here? No, away from everything, away from all this. What? What do you mean? You know Gets. full well what I mean. W wait a sec, you, you mean all... Th no! Spit. No, no, no! They used to play for longer, the scene where you actually see her down there just kind of flickered. Sophie! I thought I blinked for a really long Why did time. She... What the fuck? This. This isn't making any sense! That's what everyone else is thinking. <laughs> and then this asshole comes along. <laughs> Was it you who made her do it? Why? Why? You sick fuck! Introducing our first boss, Carcass. Now we're gonna no. Run like a little bitch.
This boss, as you probably saw, actually has an optional way of skipping it. Which I don't want to do because it's actually one of the choices in the game ending. Depending on what you pick, it's what you're gonna get for your ending. One of two choices, actually. So we're going for the good ending. I she asked uh, two people and they both agreed. I'll probably do a speedrun, uh, second or third playthrough, and I'll do the bad end. This is pretty much the boss fight, in all honesty, it is as boring as it looks. How much do I have on this thing? Uh, let's not use that. I'm kind of debating on it though, because this stuff is super powerful, but right away it's really powerful. And that was Carcass. And Sophie. She's dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, if anyone thought she was like really cute and wanted her to live, I did too, so... <sighs> All right, that was the boss. So might as well reload real quick. Look around a bit. I want to say I'm supposed to come back down here, but I don't remember. Oh, so did I say first boss earlier? No, that's like the third boss. <laughs> it's the first important decision. And with that, that should conclude part 12.